Alright, so this is a speed draw of the picture you gave me that I drew for you. Right? Okay. So we're just gonna be I'm just gonna be talking about it and you can listen and you can put input about like because I'm interested because I don't remember this at all. <laughs> drawing <laughs> well I remember this, but I don't remember how the drawing came about, so I this, sort is of a, this is a drawing from middle school that I did for uh, this person called Jacob. So we're going to start this video and then we just talk over it since there's no audio. It's just a speed draw. Three, two, one, go. So if you told me, which I didn't know, I didn't, I guess I didn't remember this. I colored everything except for the house. You colored the house. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Right? If I remember correctly. Yep. You gave me that one job for it and I still put it <laughs> off for like a week. <laughs> Was it you that requested a plant dragon or a flower dragon? Yeah. Did you specify like anything for for it or just just flower dragon? I don't think I requested anything when oh, you. Oh, here's another picture. First, ask me what to draw, but I'm sure you asked for like clarification. So here's the drawing I did. It's the concept. Just to get a general idea, I used references online for it. It looks pretty cool. And then I did another one for the pose again. I just did a reference for that pose. And also, we should probably clarify, this is not a dragon. We know that. <laughs> it's a wyvern. We understand. You mean lizard. Yeah, it's a lizard. <laughs> so here we have me just sketching out the dragon. So one of the things I do is two sketches, one for the base and then a second one for the details. And as you can see here, I busted this out in like 20 minutes. Both of these sketches, like in total, twenty minutes. Oh wow! Yeah. <clears throat> so one of the things I wanted to improve on is, you know, it actually looking like a dragon. <laughs> 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 or okay, or, or I'm sorry, a wyvern. But we're just gonna keep calling it a dragon, all right? It's the title of the picture. After yeah. <laughs> Also there, I don't know if you saw, but briefly it said, I know this I know this isn't a dragon and a wyvern, but I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, as you can see here, now I'm going to be doing the line art. Yeah. There's not much else to say. One of the things I do, like to do with line art is just not connect my lines because I find that cooler, but at the same time it screws me over. Because when I try to use the fill, um, it goes outside. <laughs> So I have to be like, just does its job. No, <laughs> well, yes, it does its job. But I don't want it to do that. So what? one of That's, this... you can't. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the things I do is just you know manually go to the holes and then just cover them up with uh, the layer where I'm going to put a base color. <clears throat> Was it fifth grade I did this or fourth? Something like that. Six. Six. With that one teacher we won't say. <laughs> I thought sixth grade was the start of multiple teachers. Was it? I don't remember. I remember a basketball court. A basketball court. That was for all Oh, yeah. Grades. There's a restroom break here. <laughs> I didn't cut this out for some reason. <laughs> I should have cut it out, but I kind of forgot I had this. Cuts would be illegal. You wouldn't know the validity of it is that the word yeah you gotta keep it authentic this restroom break was a while i think i went the number two and then you can see me adding the scales here so i used a real g, g pen oh and that's why is it called the yeah it's called the real g pen oh and here here i am filling in the uh, the holes um uh, for me coloring takes forever so like I believe this took almost eight hours to finish the entire piece. I meant not not coloring. Well, coloring took a majority of it. <laughs> well, yeah, it took uh, eight hours. So I guess seven out seven hours was coloring. But I wanted to get it right because um one of the things I did was experiment with this because I wanted to do something different than what I usually do. Originally, I was going to cell shade it, which basically means, like, just linear uh, shading. 
like with like you know Dragon Ball Z, like with Ultra Instinct, it's like oh. just, just shading with like without blending. I don't know if that makes sense to you. <laughs> I've acquired a few bits of knowledge over my time, so it made like three percent sense. All right, Gandalf. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. So, uh, one of the things I wanted to do was... See, I had difficulty of choosing either between the flower or the head of the dragon being the focal point where the eye is attracted to. Because the flower is, like, very saturated in comparison to the dragon, which... Dragon's head, which is, like, very similar to the entire body. Mm -hmm. So, I end up just focusing more on the... the flower because it's the most saturated thing. It's also you know, quite closer to the center than the dragon head is. And then here I am doing a new technique that I learned from Drawfee about using gradients to uh, help get a basic idea of shading. And I used a different tool. I used to use watercolor, but I hated watercolor so much. <laughs> like, one of the things I hate about watercolor is that... Um, it picks up colors from other layers. Well, no, maybe that's not it. I think it actually no. I think it does. Let me know if anyone watches this and has made it this far. Let me know in the comments if that's true. But that's the one of the reasons I hated that, and one of the reasons why I don't do uh, this kind of shading. But then I found this uh, what what do you call it? Oil paint uh, tool called Gucci. Gaoshi? Gosh? <laughs> in, uh, in the top left. <laughs> Gosh? Gwaik? Gwaki? Gosh. Gwaki. I'm going to call it Gwaki. I, I don't know. I really like it. It kind of has that cartoonish feel, but at the same time, it has some of that realism. If you use it correctly. Um, I eventually started forgetting how to use it because this drawing took. Three weeks? Three-ish weeks? As in, like, I worked on it once a week. <laughs> so that's, like, about three-ish hours on those days. It's, like, no time at all. Yeah, so true. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of the things I, I don't... I used to draw a lot of monsters, but then I went to the anime. <laughs> you know? One of those people. So, I, mean, I haven't had crazy. practice. I haven't drawn monsters in a long time. I say like... Three issues? Whoa. Like, monsters with like this anatomy, you know? Like, animalistic anatomy, of course. Like, I'm not talking about like vampires and stuff. <laughs> that have like, more like, human structures. Because, like, a wyvern is more like a bat. Kind of. I meant a dragon, my bad. Yeah, get it right. Um, also, of course, since I had it in different time, uh, different time frames for, like, when I did this, there were obviously is cuts between. Um, in the video. So, uh, in the comments below... <laughs> Let me know if you spot the cuts and the timestamp so I can give you a sticker. I won't give you a sticker. Can I have a sticker? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll give you a sticker, but not now. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, I shaded the flower, but I really hated that flower. I mean, it looks alright now, but like I didn't like it, so I changed it eventually. Also, the shading this lower jaw was a pain in my butt. Because, <laughs> like, I wanted to give it depth, but I didn't know what areas I needed to shade it in order to give depth. Because, like, I shaped it in a weird way. Like, if you compare it to the original drawing, like, this is already drastically different, so. Also, there's a thing about, like, the original drawing didn't have any shading at all, so. <laughs> Because it didn't need you know, the yeah, flower it was dragon that in its beautiful. light. <laughs> <laughs> so here you can see, like, in the lower jaw, like, 
I got the shading down like the way I wanted it. Well, almost the one, almost what I wanted. One of the things I do regret about this drawing is like not making the draw a little better, but I spent a long time on that draw and I didn't want to spend any more time on it. <laughs> I wanted to move on. I mean, there's not much else to talk about my process. It's like, it's self-explanatory. It's just like, I use gradients here and there. For like the wings, you'll see eventually. I believe the wings will be the next thing I'll work on. Is I'll put a gradient like I did with the base base um, dragon, which is the uh, base color for the dragon, which is the green. And you can see here, I'm just like messing around with the colors, but I didn't like any of the any like drastic changes to the color. I like I like green. I thought blue would have looked good or purple, but I wanted to keep it green because of the homage to the original dragon. Plus, it looked better. You see me shading. Also, you can see me adding colors um, to the left and right, but you can also see I have a color history. I don't use that because I get confused <laughs> about which colors I need. Because like you can see how many colors there are, and I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> too much. And then I added a tone, a simple tone, to the wings only. And then one of, one of the things I did was like tilted it so that it's like diamonds instead of squares because diamonds are cooler and I changed it to an overlay layer which is basically meaning like it overlays the color below it to sort um, of like I don't know accentuate it I don't, I don't know the physics of it worked on the tail I like the tail I think I think it's one of my favorite things about the drawing also, you can see I'm messing around with like texture, trying to add like scales. And then here's another thing that I experimented. It was um, the dry gauchi gauchi on the leaves, and I really liked it. I don't know if it, if it really looks like leaf-like or not, but I liked it. I t did the same thing with the flower, except for on the veins. Um, and I also liked it on the flower, so that's that was pretty cool. Does I, look pretty good. Yeah, here I'm working on the claws. I really like the claws too, and like that back foot. That back foot looks really good. <laughs> I love it. I'm not a feet person, <laughs> but man, those <laughs> feet are good. <laughs> See me working on the leg. I meant not the leg, the tail more. I mean, I guess the leg is like the third tail. I'm no, that's not. I meant. Wait. <laughs> I meant. I meant, <laughs> I meant the tail is the third leg. <laughs> Anyways, the left arm I didn't like the shading at all, so I redid it. It took forever because I didn't know how I was gonna shade it. Another thing, I love the spine. The spine looks nice. Here I work on the tongue. I didn't like the texture that I did for the, um, like I did with the leaves. So like I kind of used something different. I used pointillism, and then I went back to dry gouge, and I went back to pointillism to get that texture I got right there, which I was really appreciate, really liked. And I used pointillism on the, uh, the flower again. Here where I'm working on the. Uh, what do you call this stem yeah. right I used the watery ink another experiment and I also used the wet blocking what blot ink art of brush whatever you want to call it I ended up using the watery ink because I thought I looked very cool and realistic and then I also used I believe dry gouge because one of the th problems with watery ink is I can't light in it so i went to use uh, the dry goku gucci to uh, light in it and here i added the texture first on the flower with the gucci dry gucci and then i added used water ink and then i used dry gucci and then i started messing around with colors i should also mention you you uh jacob hasn't seen the final product so he's seeing it I have not. developed <laughs> it's pretty cool yeah um, 
I didn't like the colors that I used for this, so one of the things I would use, I'll eventually use, I don't know if I use it immediately, is something called color balance, which is basically just like making it more red or cyan or stuff with all the colors you already have. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm I'm poor at explaining. Here's the armor I'm coloring. It's pretty cool. And one of the things I really hated about this drawing, more than anything, was the leaves. I couldn't decide like what, what colors I wanted because again, I was trying to debate between either the flower going to be the main um, attraction point or the, the dragon head. So I was trying to fix the leaves to make it more of the eyes would lead to the dragon's head. But in the end, I like I said before, I didn't like it. So I made the flower to be a bit more of the emphasis. Here, I do the background, and I really hate, well not hate, I'm just bad at doing background, so, you know, I just winged it. One of the things I did, I just, just sketch out, sketched out the, um, like a block, and then I started inking out rocks. By block, I meant like, how I wanted the mountain to be structured, like and where the rocks are going to go. So I loosely based off my rocks like that. I think the rocks look pretty good. For someone that doesn't do like background art that often, I think I did a decent job. Also, I didn't use any references for the background. I should have. If I did, I probably would have made it better. Also, here's the foundation for the house <laughs> right there. Ah, oh, heck yeah. I had some highlights. I didn't like the highlights, <laughs> but it was already too late. They're already there. And I added a little bit of a glow and then added texture to it, to the rocks. And here's the most awful part <laughs> of this entire drawing that took forever and I hated is the ground, the foreground. Uh, one of the things I use is the crack paintbrush to like map out, because I want to try something different than what I did for the mountain. So I used the, the crack brush to paint out like where I wanted to put certain rocks and base that off and then I started coloring in like the light space or no the dark space and then put, putting light on top of it like a lighter color and as you can see I'm trying to make it look crackish or like you know like a like a desert that has like a lot of cracks in it uh, in the like the ground because it's so dry yeah. that's what I wanted to do but it didn't really turn out that way again I should have used references for that for some reason I didn't want to use reference I don't know why. <laughs> I just didn't want to. But you can see me making this weird maze like ground that didn't really look that good. Also, I tried to add a second layer of shading. I didn't like that either, so I kind of rushed through, through it. I'm like, oh, screw it. The ground already sucks. No one's going to notice. <laughs> the dragon's in the way of the ground, so it's not like they're going to see it. <laughs> So that's why I didn't add highlights to the ground as well, as you'll eventually see. I also started adjusting the ground and then started adjusting the size of everything. So one of the things I reverted is I reverted the dragon size back to what it originally was. And instead uh, create, made the background larger. And I moved the dragon towards our right. So that's one of the things I did. And the reason why I moved the... The foreground is because I wanted to make it look more like correctly perspective, I guess. Here's a second mountain. It was supposed to match the background, but I realized I made a lava mountain. <laughs> so I kind of had to change it a little bit. It still looks like a lava mountain, but eventually it'll look like it's part of the background. I added clouds, subtle clouds, and I made the mountain smaller. It's, it's pretty cool, right? Except for the fact that it gets blocked by the dragon, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Until I put the dragon back. <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Yeah, I added a mist right here, like a golden mist. Again, that's getting blocked by the dragon, so I don't know why I added that. <laughs> I did a lot of unnecessary things. I added texture to the foreground because I, I forgot to add texture. And you can see like the mountain's blocked, you, like you can't even see it anymore. <laughs> uh, whatever. Had it cracks in the ground. And here's the house. I guess there was a long pause. I don't know what happened. I don't remember. 
Uh, I sketched out the house and what I wanted to look. I I did use the original house as a reference until I realized it looked really bad, so I didn't use it as a <laughs> reference. So I did pull up a reference for this house on Google, and then I added. What did I do? Yeah, I added a perspective layer for the second uh, second second sketch, as you can see, which is the blue. And that's what allows me to create straight lines is because of the perspective ruler. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a house. I don't know what else to explain. <laughs> kind of just busted out this house. You can go over the furniture. No, no. Um, I added more color balance and I'm going to add tone curves to... The dragon in the background. So I wanted to make it more of a reddish to make it look more like volcanic, I guess, or dry. Dangerous. I added more to the to the shadow of the dragon. And then I forgot I had to like blend in the skin and the the stem, so I did that. Uh it's okay. I think I should have done it a little better, but when you look at it from afar I think it looks fine. I did sign this, but I forgot to do um, the teeth and the 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 tongue for the flower, which I did off camera. Actually, I didn't record that. So the last part I did um, that I did record was the mist. I added mist to the front and the back of the dragon, and then on the top, right. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say. I think it adds a lot, a lot of flair because I felt it was a little empty without anything. But what about the house? <laughs> it's still white. What about the house? You know, it's true to the original, original, original art. Um, I put a bright contrast on the back, uh, shadow. I meant back fog. I don't know what I'm saying. And I added another gradient to add more like a highlight towards the dragon. And I just went over some things. Just double check and I ha I colored everything and such. And I, I tried to experiment the mist, but I'm like, nah, that's not good. I'll, also, I saw like at the edge of the mountain was not blurry enough, so I blurred it a little. And I tried changing the color of the mountain because, again, you can't see it. The background of the mountain. And that's it. So, you must be asking, why is the house not colored? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. I didn't color the house. That was not my job, so... <laughs> Jacob, you're going to have to... I have the house <laughs> file by itself. <laughs> so, you're going to have to color it. <laughs> Oh boy, we'll see how long it takes to do that. <laughs> so, so yeah, I do have the files. I have the the line work and the the white by itself, so that you don't have to so you don't color over the um, the lines. <laughs> um, for for all y'all, the video will be like done immediately. Like you'll see the final product with like the house call it right now but for us it's gonna take a while so <laughs> i don't know if you want to record that or not <laughs> I, I think it'll be a mess so it might be entertaining <laughs> <laughs> yeah we could uh but as that's, that's all for right now unless again it cuts right here instead where like it cuts to your <laughs> you coloring it <laughs> so we'll see I'm ending recording. Bye. <laughs>